Here we go. This is the MPC 1000, the brain of my life setup. It's a sampler and a sequencer. I have uh, already set up some uh, of the sounds to play in uh, several loops. And uh, all of the loops are arranged in a master song for the complete show. Then when I play, I can go uh, from a sequence, from a loop, to another loop with this foot switch. When I push the foot switch, I go to the to the next uh, to the next loop. I can't change the uh, order of the loops, but I can stay as long as I want on uh, every loops. And uh, basically, uh, this is uh, how it works. I've got also individual sounds assigned on uh, each pad I can trigger during the show. And uh, this slider is programmed to change the sounds, to change uh, the pitch. The pad and sliders also control some visuals on the cube. When I hit uh, different uh, triggers, uh, there is different effect happens uh, on the cube. For every loops uh, in the MPC, there is a video matching on the cube. Then basically the MPC is uh, the real master of the show. If I get it, everything stops. And when I restart, the video will start again. The audio outputs of the MPC are uh, plugged on this mixing desk. And then I got a whole the sound here, like uh, percussion, uh, hi-hat, claps, and uh, stuff like that. I got uh, everything on different lines on uh, this desk. The MPC also sends some uh, MIDI information to the different scenes I got in my setup. I put the kick on. Then uh, I have uh, different uh, things uh, in the setup. After the MPC, the most important one is uh, this TB303 from uh, Roland. I've been using this machine uh, in my music for a very long time. It produces all the bass line in uh, all my songs. This is the sound, and then uh, with some chorus on it. Uh, it's a really vintage ma machine. There is no uh, MIDI. In fact, all the all the notes are programmed inside the the machine. With uh, I got different presets with all the different uh, bass line, and uh, then I have to change for every song. I have to change uh, every preset, and then I got on this knob. I can change uh, the sound a little, change uh, the the filter. Uh, resonance. And then I, I can play with the sound uh, during the show. And then the TB go through this machine called Biscuit from uh, Auto Machine. It's a bit crusher, and then there is some uh, effects in it, and a really strange effect, and a filter. Then I can pimp the sound of the TB. This machine is magic. I also use uh, this uh, controller. This is a, a, a MIDI controller. I control uh, this synthesizer, the synthesizer from Death Smith Instruments called Evolver. And then with uh, this controller, I can change some parameters like distortions or filter. OK. 
okay. And uh, down here we got also um, a chorus. Uh, I can uh, apply on uh, every channel from the desk. You know, for example, on this sound. And then below I use this uh, compressor and, uh, and the mix and uh, I use it with a, a sidechain. I, I make it a sidechain with the kick and I can make the mix pump with the, with the kick drum. Then on, uh, on the other side I use uh, this uh, small rhythm box called drum computer from uh, MFB and I use it for the kick and the snare. This is analog kick and snare and uh, I uh, program all the kick and snare with the, the MPC. And uh, the sound are going through this, uh, this Alesis Akira and I can foot switch to put effect on kick and snare. Then I can make some, some cuts during the mix, I can cut the, the rhythm. I also use uh, this uh, channel strip and the kick sound. It's a Jomic 6Q. Then I can compress the kick and uh, put a lot of bass on it. Um, just here I got a, a reverb. I control the, the sand from the desk. I use it quite often during the, the live show. Then I use also uh, the T-Tray, it's a Dave Smith instrument synthesizer. Pretty convenient because it's really small and there is a lot of knob to uh, adjust parameters. Then basically that is all the gear I use uh, for the setup, but everything comes back to the to the mixer, uh, and then I can adjust everything, all the the effects, the sand. I can EQ, cut. All the sound are coming back on the mixer and then I can do the mix. The detail that's worth mentioning is that I can uh, adjust all the sounds on the big mixer except the kick and the snare. Uh, I have a second small mixer over here that gather together all the sounds and then split up the kick and the snare on a, another channel. That is meant to never lose the kick during the live show. If I need more kick, I can always put more kick, which is pretty important for the 
kind of music I do. That's it. <laughs>